Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's the morning after G4's shutdown has been announced, the official shutdown. Uh, apparently, people working at G4 knew it was going to happen for a while. They just didn't bother telling anybody who worked there. Oh, you mean like the main, the, the higher ups knew, but they didn't tell the employees? Yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the employees. Sorry, that's that's about right. That is about right. The employees found out via uh, Deadline and Variety yesterday. No. Yes, yeah, so you weren't here for that video. Yeah, they found out via the. the I mean, trades. I knew what happened, but I didn't know that that's how they found out. Yes. So Sunday oh, night. Oh, shit. Sunday night. The news drops that uh, they put a statement out that they were shutting down G4 effective immediately, and a lot of people didn't didn't know. <laughs> Most people didn't know. It's like I don't know how you couldn't have I don't known. Say, I mean, I'm surprised it made it as long as it did, honestly. Uh, so now they kind of add insult to injury, and they put a tweet out, a public tweet out, uh, to their fans today, posting the letter that they gave to Deadline. Uh, again, I think before telling staff one on one that they were gone. Uh, you know, and of course the reason they cited was that it wasn't financially viable. I can't imagine why when they pull 10 to 20,000 views a day on YouTube, which isn't a lot of money in YouTube dollars, and they spent this How much on this place, this much money on this place. They, they spent this much money on this esports stadium when Attack of the Show looks like it's filmed in a, a man cave basement. They could have literally just gone out and, and bought a house and just filmed shit in the basement. Yeah. And they would have probably gotten more bang. They would have the same look as the upstairs. Yeah. Like, this is this is ridiculous. This is in Burbank. So this is a, like a sealed concrete and upstairs looks like a basement. 60,000 square foot, I'm told. This is a 60,000 square foot space that they rented and they could barely crack 20,000 views in a day. <sighs> This reeks of like money laundering. I'm sorry, I'm not saying that's what it is, but it doesn't make no, any I'm sense. I'm starting to think that, that there was something else sense. going on here. Cause I, I mean, this should have been a slam dunk. This could have been a slam dunk. It could have been, but then they, the people they hired or they can blame their misuse of misappropriate. I mean, if you weren't sure how it was gonna go, you think you start out a little smaller and then if it did really well, you'd expand to this. Cause you, no one's gonna know if you just have a couple set, you know, sets that you're in. It doesn't mm. matter what kind of building you're in, it's the sets. And then this. <laughs> what is so, I mean, they could have just done green screen or something. Like make it look like you're in a fancy place and whatever. We are very mid YouTubers, mid tier YouTubers, right? I don't um, know if we're mid. I don't even know if we're mid. We're, we're small. We're under under a million subs. We get more views and we make more money than G4 working out of our house. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's the reality. And there are a lot of people like us who have bigger fan bases than us that make a lot more money than G4 did working out of their houses. Oh, yeah. Some of the bigger gaming YouTubers. I mean, millions of dollars. It's a year. just, it's just, there's no comparison. I mean, they do more in an hour than these people did in like a month. Yeah. So this was, this was doomed to fail. Uh, they hired, they should have hired people that people actually want to watch. And then when you have people going out and shooting their mouths off, you should have dealt with it immediately. Shouldn't yes. have praised it. You shouldn't have done recuts of it and kept you know running with it. You should have been like shit and then tried to fix it or found people that, you know, weren't going to act that way. Yeah. So let's, let's talk about the aftermath of uh, this debacle. And I'm sure this is going to be one I, I said yesterday on Twitter for years to come, there are going to be videos out there by people who do these kinds of videos of, you know, what went wrong with G4 2.0. And they're going to be like three hour documentaries because there's so much. Yeah. I look forward to that. Yeah. So much to unpack. And I think these sold employees are going to be spilling the tea or the next yeah, couple of weeks, Yeah, especially the ones months. that weren't like the, ta the quote unquote talent for the ones yeah. that actually made it go, who also lost their jobs because of bad behavior of people like, you know, Frost and stuff. Yeah, so let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture. News, views, and rants, guys, over 277,000 subs. Uh, thank you for the support. We do talk about video game news. We talk about streaming news. We've been talking about G4 because I, I, I <laughs> short of, New Coke or the Arch Deluxe. I, I haven't seen many other. Well, no, I can't say that. We just got done recording a Lord of the Rings video. There's all kinds of crazy shit going on with uh, media thinking they can compete with individual influencers and failing 
catastrophically. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, a lot of people are going to be out of a job now because of a couple of people making well, dumbass decisions. Back when they were big, let's be honest here, you didn't have the competition no. you have now. And you have people that do it better, do it cheaper, and, and people actually like that. Yeah, you are uh, bringing back a radio show. You know, right. basically in the era of color TV. Mm -hmm. And that's that's effectively what happened here. Uh, so right work, out of the gate. But it didn't. It could have worked if they had, uh, mm -hmm. you know, done it a, a bit cheaper, gotten uh, people better that people. People that were Gotten people that weren't asshats, but they got cocky. They thought this was going to be, you know, the controversy, I guess they thought was good. My understanding from what I've seen um, is that Frost, they concocted this whole rant as a way to promote the channel, create controversy. Oh my God, they did it on purpose? Yes. And then they said, Ooh. you can see the look in her face after she delivered the rant that she knew she done fucked up. But then she double tripled down when her coworkers got laid off and she didn't. She's like, I survived, bitches. And then she was gone a couple days later. I so. think, you know, I think they, they got rid of her for that reason. Yeah. I mean, everybody got, got gone now, but I mean. <sighs> Aren't you proud? So uh, yeah, people saying that they found out through deadline. That's not okay. It's messed up. That's, it is messed up. That, that, I'm going to take their side on that one. That is not oh, that. No. Mm -hmm. uh, one person in particular was like, I'm coming back from my grandfather's funeral. And I just found out that I'm out of a job. That's awful. You know, and I, I guess my thing is, I, it is awful. Um, people said that the reason corporations do this a lot of times is they don't want to affect the stock price. They want to get out ahead of it. But yes. I'm also like... How, as an employee of G4, did you not see this coming? Like yeah. every one of you, and look, I'm not excusing what they did, but I'm like, every one of you should have kept your resumes updated. But then, like, where are they going to go? Because all these other, uh, you know, gaming networks are imploding. Oh, I'm sure they were told, hey, stick it out, stick it's it out. Fine. We're going to bring new people in. It's going to be okay. I'm sure they were They might have lied to them. They might have said, I'm yeah. Sure they did. Yeah, Honestly. you know, our, our YouTube and Twitch numbers are absolutely terrible. But, man, we're really we're really uh, doing well on cable. And we're going to redo this whole thing, and it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. You know. um, this happened to me when I got laid off for my one job. I actually went in. My boss was actually the CEO, and I went into his office, and I said, hey, I'm looking at the numbers. Yeah, they're not good. Uh, the numbers are not good. Should I be concerned about my job? Because I don't, you know, I feel like you're starting to uh, close up. I was in charge of marketing and they were starting to turn the marketing off. And I'm like, yeah, you're not letting me spend money. We're not making long-term plans and our numbers are terrible. I said, should I be concerned? Just be honest with me. Be honest with me. Oh, it's all fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine here. This is on Friday. Monday morning, I get called into the HR office. Oh, yeah. He didn't even have the balls to show up. He took off. The CEO took Coward. off that day. And a bunch of us got laid off. And uh, I got called into the office. There's the HR manager who he was sleeping with at the time, conveniently enough. Mm -hmm. uh, and she had a little box and some paperwork yeah, for she me. She also wasn't qualified for that job. That's another story entirely. She was not. She came from, she was like working retail at Sears. I don't know what the hell happened. Anyway, um, yeah, so they don't really tell you, and they will lie to your face. That's how the corporate world uh, works. So I feel bad for people, but yeah, they drop. So on top of telling Deadline first that this was going to happen, so they just put a tweet out there. So some tacky. some news to share, guys. Here it is on the website. What they say? G four shutdown memo. But um, that's literally a memo. Oh man. G four shutdown memo. Team, as you know, G four was reintroduced last year to tap into the popularity of gaming. We invested to create the new G4 as an online and TV destination for fans to be entertained. Are you not entertained? <laughs> no! <laughs> Obviously not. Inspired and connect with gaming content. Over the past several months, we worked hard to generate that interest in G4. No, they didn't. But viewership is low, and the network has not achieved sustainable financial results. With, with 10 to 20,000 views per day, you can't afford this place? Pshaw. <laughs> they must be pocketing all that money. This is certainly not what we hoped for. And as a result, we've made the very difficult decision to discontinue G4's operations effective immediately. They didn't even give them time. They didn't give them time. I know this is disappointing news. I know you're all fucked. I'm disappointed too. Uh, I want to. They I wanna... didn't say you're all fucked. I better clarify that. He should have. <laughs> I'm sorry you're all fucked. I'm not. That's I'm not. I got a golden parachute, bitches. But I'm sorry, you're all fucked. 
Sorry about Grandpa dying over the weekend. Oh, well, uh, game over, motherfuckers. Uh, I wanted to thank you and everyone on the G4 team for the hard work and commitment to the network. Our human resources team is reaching out to you to provide you with support. Discuss other opportunities that may be available. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. And answer any questions you may have. Thank you for all your hard work. Sincerely, Dave. I don't know if he signed that himself or his secretary did. I don't know. It didn't go over very well. Um... Well, I don't think so, especially since they didn't let them know. Yeah, what a way to find out you don't have a job. Um, everyone at G4 did their job well. In that ah, that's a everyone. Shocked. I'm shocked to hear the G4 TV is shutting down again. How are you shocked? How is anybody surprised? Did you read the rest of this one? A hybrid of a TV internet network was not a bad idea. I just don't think it was marketed and took care of by Comcast even before the Frost controversy. In fact, the Frost controversy was their biggest promotion. That's not untrue. I, I think they thought that they could come back and be like, hey, you miss us? We've been gone for like 10 years. You know, this is like, speaking of Brendan Fraser, we were talking about Brendan Fraser in a previous video. Uh, it's like blast from the past. Mm. You know, we just crawled out of the bunker after 10 years. Like, hey guys, G4 is back. Great news. And a lot of us, myself included, were excited because I'm like, well, maybe this will be a, a rollback to, you know, what gaming media was like 10, 15 years ago before Kotaku pissed all over it, you know? And uh, no, it was, <laughs> it was just more of the same. It was just more of the same. It was it was all there. A lot of bad decisions were made. Um, G4 was a cool idea. I guess gamer TV doesn't really have a place when YouTube is a thing. No, it does. Just not them. Mm -hmm. Or G4 TV with totally different people who mm -hmm. actually understand where things are at and where gamers are at right now. I'm waiting for them to blame Gamergate. That's going to be the next thing. Gamergate destroyed G4 TV. How dare they? Uh, yeah, so your failure's complete, et cetera, et cetera. It goes on and I on. I do feel bad for the people that on. got caught up in it, that weren't the, 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 the high-profile celebs and stuff that didn't do anything but now have no job because of bad behavior from other people. Yeah, so here um, the Washington Post put an article out according to uh, Kotaku, and this is really, this is really interesting, right? Um, they said that uh, G4 has struggled throughout 2022. The shutdown itself was sudden. The Washington Post viewed another email sent Sunday from G4 head Joe Marsh to employees that informed staff that G4's LA facility would be closed until October 18th. So they were telling people, hey, we're going to be closed for a couple of weeks, guys. We're, we're just going to paint and the walls. And all the streams were proposed. Okay, that's been your first indication, but still. That is, look, has been honest that's that's how I knew I was getting laid off because they, they basically turned off any spending on marketing. And I'm like, well, wait, it's my job to spend money on marketing and you turned it all off. Well, it gets off. better. This should have been your indication right here. Yeah. That email did not mention the network shutdown. They Additionally, were former G4 employees were request, who requested anonymity, that's a hard word to say, due to the signing of an NDA, told the Post the staff were locked out of internal communication services like Slack and Google, Google Drive without immediate explanation. Okay, so this is another thing that corporations do. Uh, when you are laid off, they immediately take the keys uh, from you for anything, company email, um, any sort of application. Uh, I've had people find out before that they were gone because they couldn't get into their email. Uh, I know, again, going back to my layoff I, uh, that morning, there was nothing I could do. They were like, you need to be out of here by noon, but there was literally nothing I could do because I was locked out of everything. Yeah. So they do that before they lay you off because they're like, if you're going to be vindictive and you're going to wreck shit or send out nasty emails using company email or whatever, Especially if you've got people dealing with tech, access to IT stuff, you know what I'm saying? Was that this came after a crew from the arena, a show produced as part of a crucial deal with the WWE, quit last week. Oh, boy. Yeah, and they had, um, was it Kevin Pereira quit, uh, leave early. They laid a bunch. Of, I, I, I don't know what you thought. I don't know what you thought was going to happen. Uh, G4 is Comcast's attempt at reviving a network from the early 2000s that imagined what televised video game coverage and entertainment could look like years before content creators on YouTube and Twitch began amassing millions of viewers. Despite repeated attempts at bringing said creators into the fold, uh, shows such as Name Your Price were hosted by Twitch stars like Austin Show. Um, the network never found its footing when competing against individual influencers yes. who themselves were inspired by G4's original 2002-2014 iteration. That's true. 
Um, you made your own competition, basically, and they did it better than you. Okay, this is where it gets really interesting, though. Expenditures for guest talent appears to have played a role in the closure. According to multiple G4 employees interviewed by The Post, some high-profile creators demanded day rates of $25,000 to $30,000 when invited to appear wow. as guests on G4. Amaranth? That's the only one I can I think know. of that would get that kind of money. Twenty-five dollars to $30,000 just to show up and play with your balls. Several events presage G4's demise. The nosedive that culminated Sunday began when then-President Russell Aarons exited at the end of August. In September, G4 laid off more than 20 crew members, many of whom worked on shows like Video Game Review and Commentary Flagship X-Play. A week later, Kotaku reported that one of the revived uh, phase, or that one of the revived G... Well, it should be reviled. They spelled it wrong. A week later, Kotaku reported that one of the revived G4's most prominent faces. That is an awkward sentence. It, it should have been reviled. Yeah, reviled. X-Play host, Indiana Foreskin, I'm uh, sorry. Frostkin. Frost urine Black was no longer with the network after she bragged that she survived. Why did they keep leaving that part out? She literally went on Twitter and bragged that she still I had a job. I can't believe that she did that. I mean, I can. Yeah. Later that month, Kevin Pereira, uh, he quit. He quit. Um, Sunday's memo, Scott expressed his regrets. I know it's disappointing. Uh, yeah. So again, you stack it all on top of each other. You look at everything that's happened over the last month or two. How could anybody be surprised that this was going to happen? You know? I mean, they should have told people, though. They should have told people, but that's but not how corporate America... When you got America... locked out, that should have been your first indication. Yeah, but, oh yeah, we're closing for a while. You can't get into any of your, your can't usual stuff. can't get into stuff. your Gmail or anything. Yeah, you're fucked. You're fucked. That's how How much does that place cost in Burbank? Uh, 60,000 square foot in Burbank. I cannot imagine. And they're just going to write it off, I'm sure. Comcast mm -hmm. will just write it off. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up. Yeah. I'm sure there are going to be many, many G4 videos because I think more and more people are going to come out and, and spill the beans on what actually happened. Mm -hmm. uh, and I look forward to if not hearing now, this. now, it might be later if they have NDAs. Once the NDAs are up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.